Husband's got the TV up. He's out on the sofa with the puppy. We are puppy sitting for the day and I have been film uh, editing the video, the vlog for, I don't even know, behind my head you can even see the computer because of the glare, but anyway, um, I've been editing the vlog for this last week and it is going to be loaded up to YouTube sometime tonight. If you're watching this vlog, you've already probably seen the last one. And um, I'm going to go sit and work on some sketching. I've got a bunch of um, journals out here, different ones ready to go for, um, where, there we go, ready to go for journal pages. Um, I've got like five of them I'm currently working on. These are just art journals. I have sketchbooks out in the other room. And I have a few more miscellaneous ones in my Ikea cart I occasionally pull out. So anyway, uh, I never do one at a time. Well, that never happens. So anyway, I am, yeah, working on stuff. Avoiding laundry. <laughs> Laundry's got to be done, but yeah. So I'm avoiding it for the moment. <laughs> um... Nothing exciting going on today. We're puppy sitting. The husband was out doing yard work and stuff like that. So we're kind of, you know, it's like having a toddler in the house. So, you know, you can't do too much. So anyway, I am going to finish in here and go out there and sit with them. I'll try to get some cute, cute footage of uh, Lily being Lily because, you know. <laughs> All right, that's it for the moment. I'll be back. Hey guys, it is Monday, February 12th, and I spent the morning talking to my friends, the Zoomers. And as you can see here, working on a bunch of stuff on my table. I'm starting a bunch of new art journal pages, four journals at once, again. <laughs> and uh, so I've made a mess on the table, but that's okay. Everything's drying. I'm going to go head out right now and go get the mail. I've already done all my daily drawings. I had to start a new uh, messy sketch journal because I filled up the old one. Woohoo! And um, at some point after the all of the images are shared on social media, I will do a flip here in the vlog. But it'll be uh, probably another week before that happens. And uh, that's it for right now. I'll be back. <laughs> It is Tuesday, February 13th, and I spent the morning chatting with friends and playing with my resin coasters that I'm working on. I'll insert some video here that I filmed last night. I'm driving with the blinker on because, you know, it's one of those kind of days. Anyway, um, so I poured this resin last night, um, and after about 12 hours, I popped them out a little early and I trimmed some of the crazy funky edges and the idea is to put them back in the coaster mold upside down and on top of another layer of resin so that I don't have to do like tons of sanding and polishing. I don't know if it's going to work. It's a total experiment. I hope it works. Uh, I, if it doesn't, I might have to send the coasters off to my friend Cindy Utter and have her sand them and polish them for me. But. Um, I created the coasters by dripping alcohol inks into the wet resin. There's lots of video on how to do that here on YouTube. 
and so I will put a couple links to a couple of my favorite videos in the description below so you all can experiment if you so have the desire. But yes, I've been playing with, I got the urge late last night to play with some resin and yeah. Anyway, I popped them out early so I could easily trim the edges. Um, they were still soft, so they weren't fully cured. And then I put them back in upside down, like I said. So Now we're headed over to the grocery store. I've missed the golden hour, so it is lunchtime, which means it's gonna be crowded, which is gonna suck. But what are you gonna do? I need groceries. So anyway, I'll be back. Okay, so the grocery store and two hardware stores later, I finally have everything I need and we can go home. Maybe eat some lunch. That would be good since I'm a bit hungry. Uh, maybe see if the Zoomers are still chatting. And then we will chat with them a bit but I was at the hardware the, the last hardware store and on the check stand they had these little flyers advertising I think bird seed or something anyway had the this cutest picture of the little bird on it I will try to like in, include a still a photo of it here somewhere and I grabbed a couple of them it's free the little bird is cute you can cut him out and stick them on your journal page real easily that's the kind of thing that you all should be looking for to look, use in your art. Just things laying around. Um, you don't have to go out to the craft store and buy stuff. You can use what you have around you in your art, found objects, like the little bird. And usually when I see something like that, I usually pick up at least two of them. So I have a spare, in case I wanna use the image again or send it off to a friend in Happy Mail. Waiting for all the crazy people. Okay. So, anyway. So, keep your eyes open. Keep them peeled. Even when you're out running errands, you might, you never know, you might find something. Sorry about the jingling keys again. Alright, that's it for the moment. I'll be back. Hey guys, it is Wednesday, February 14th, Valentine's Day. Happy Valentine's Day. And I spent the morning uh, watching Shannon Green's live broadcast. She did a great job. I also finally um, unmolded my coasters. So, yeah, it worked like a charm. The edge is a little bit funny, but I I'm not going to do anything else to them. I love them. Um, and you could really do either side, but I really like this side. And here's the other one. I got asked about a tutorial on these. There's actually a lot of people already on YouTube doing tutorials on how to do these. So what I'm going to do here is link their videos in this description, uh, my couple of favorites, and uh, you guys can um, learn how to do it and play and everything. And yes, I've got a little makeup on and actually try to do something with my hair today because, you know, it's Valentine's Day. Um, all right, I'm going to go run and get the mail and then I might chat with some of my art friends a bit on Zoom and maybe try to do some journaling or daily drawing because I think I need to catch up again. So yeah, I'll be back. Hey guys, how are you? It is Thursday, February 15th, the day after Valentine's Day. I will include a couple of snaps here. Um, nothing super spectacular or anything but if you live in the South Bay area uh, San Jose go to Senro Sushi on Caudill and they have really good food and uh, here's like a shot of our table with my husband's uh, beer he had Asahi I had ginger ale and um, anyway really really good food in, in fact we even had some Kobe beef I ate way too much yesterday I went over my calories on the Lose It app. I think I gained back all three pounds I lost. But anyway, it was good. 
so we did that last night to celebrate Valentine's Day and this morning I was getting some stuff done getting my steps in making that a priority and I was just at Dollar Tree picking up a couple things I'm gonna head over to the shopping center where our post office box is to get the mail and I want to stop at Staples and look for something that maybe they might have there Nothing super exciting. I have chores to do, always. I have a couple of art journal pages to finish. One of them is for another secret project. If you don't know what the first secret project is and you haven't heard yet, uh, they, did, they did already announce it on Instagram. I am one of the featured artists in Heart Journal Magazine's upcoming issue in March. It is an online um, digital magazine and um, there's a tutorial I created for them and a bunch of other stuff so you should they have a really great magazine you should go check it out and um, so I can tell you all about that secret <laughs> and uh, I'm gonna work on another project for somebody else so I've got to work on that and what else I I need to get some filming ahead for March and I need to, you know, it's that time of year I need to get the dog to the vet for his checkup. I need to figure out what I'm doing next month so that I can make my appointment for my checkup because that's coming up and all of that stuff. So, you know, it is what it is. I think that's all right now. Depending on what's in the mailbox. So we'll find out. I'll be back. Hey everybody. Has anybody noticed that I do most of my vlogging in the car? It's not intentional, I swear. It just seems to be the place where I remember, oh, I should turn the camera on, I need to vlog. <laughs> One of my earrings is falling out, wait a minute. I'm just not capable of multitasking anymore. Anybody else have that problem? My hair is wet again. It's another thing, anybody notice that my hair seems to be wet like all the time when I'm vlogging? <laughs> I seem to always be turning on the camera right after I've taken a shower and washed my hair. I don't, I don't know what that is. Anyway, we are headed out to go run errands. Tonight is family night. So the kids are coming over for dinner with the puppy. I need to get something for dinner. I think I'm gonna make something I actually haven't made in a while. Um, and I usually get enough to make two of them because everybody, I got my hair stuck to me. Um, everybody really likes it, so I usually make two of them, and they're not very big. Um, it's like a meatloaf, but it's made with Italian turkey sausage. It's loaded with um, different vegetables, some breadcrumbs, an egg, things like spinach and onion, celery, and um, also some cheese. I'm going to put the recipe into a Dropbox file that I can share with you all. You can click on it and go over. Actually, you know what? I'll put the recipe on my website and I'll put the link where you can find it and you can print it from there. And um, it's a really good recipe that I found from a magazine. I bought a stack of vintage magazines years ago to like art with. I don't remember the name of them right now but anyway it's one that's not in print anymore and the magazine in question was from like 1932 or something it was really old and it had a recipe in it that I altered a bit to be the recipe that you're gonna see but the recipe I found inspired this one if I can find the name of the magazine and or the issue I will put that in the recipe on the website I might not be able to do that but I'll try um, anyway, we're going to have that for dinner with mashed potatoes and I'll make a nice big green salad. I don't really eat potatoes, so, um, 
and I'm always trying to get the family to eat vegetables. But the nice thing about this meat dish is it's loaded with them already. So if they choose not to have salad and just have meat and potatoes, I already got them to eat their vegetables during the meat. <laughs> so anyway, so I'm going to go do that. I've got to go to Target for a few things. And um, yeah, maybe get the mail if it's late enough to go do that. I've already done my morning typing. Uh, for those that don't know, I do typing and writing across a few different um, social media groups every single morning. And um, postings or something. Um, I actually enjoy it. It's not a chore. I know a lot of you are going, God, every day she does that? Um, I actually enjoy it. I do do daily thoughts most of the week. I do have two days a week that my friends Anne um, Williamson and Cindy Utter um, do the thoughts um, for me to give me a break, but I do other postings other places. So every morning I try to um, get my coffee in and then do my writing and um, hopefully get my steps in on the treadmill which I did do already and you've probably already seen the footage of me walking on the treadmill today I actually did not have pajamas on on the treadmill I actually had regular clothes on which is a switch um, what else I think that's it for right now I was having fun last night playing with a dollar store spirograph uh, Dollar Tree has a little small pocket spirograph set um, right now and I will put some pictures in here somewhere I was playing with it last night and that was a lot of fun and it gave me the idea that those little sketches could be used as embellishments in art journal pages would not be fun um, or you could use it directly on a journal page which would also be fun I think that's it for right now I have another secret project I'm working on I need to finish today and I need to do some chores. Cleaning, I don't like a dirty house but I don't like to clean. <laughs> so that provides a problem. So, <laughs> and I don't have a maid or anything so I gotta do some cleaning today. I've gotta do laundry, the bathrooms need a once over. The kids are coming over so I need to do a few things probably going to wait to vacuum until after the puppy leaves because there's kind of no point until the puppy goes home. Any of you who have pets will understand. Especially small ones. Alright, that's it for the moment. I'll be back. Good morning. It is Saturday morning. It's still technically morning. It's 1125. Um, we are just taking a slow start this morning. The husband's outside doing yard work and watering some plants. I got the dishes done. The laundry is working. I got my morning typing done and postings mm -hmm. done for today. And I am just watching YouTube. <laughs> And we're going to head out and go run some errands. I'll take you with me. And then we're going to go out tonight to celebrate a friend's birthday. So that's going to be fun. And um, that's it for the moment. Last night was fun playing Scrabble. It was one of our more challenging Scrabble games. I lost epically. Of course I did. I've only, I think, won once or twice. Usually somebody else wins. I'm horrible at Scrabble. Um, <laughs> last, last night was really tough, especially because I was cooking dinner while we were playing, so I kept having to get up, and I got all the vowels. Like, yeah, it was, I think I had every single A in the pile. I don't know, anyway. So it was pretty fun, though, and, um, and yeah, so that was fun. There's a little bit of footage. If you're watching this, you've already seen that, so... Anyway, that's it. Slow start. I don't know if I'm going to get any journaling in today or art in today. Maybe the, hopefully the daily drawings in at some point. Maybe not. I might just wait until tomorrow morning and catch up. We'll see. All right, that's it for the moment. I'll be back.
almost all of our errands done. The husband's in getting the mail. Um, we were just in Target. I'm going to insert the still pictures here. Everywhere we went in the Target store, there were empty coffee cups, empty water bo box uh, bottles, garbage on the floor. The greeting card department was thrashed. The gift wrap and trimmings department was thrashed. I've never seen our Target look that bad. And as somebody who used to work for their greeting card vendor, American Greetings, shame on you, the vendor, whoever you are, your department was t horrible. I mean, and with empty, whole forfeit sections that were empty. It was really bad. So anyway, we're almost done. We have one more errand to do after this that we almost forgot. We have to go to the bank and get in the safety deposit box. So um, we're going to go run and do that really quick and then I get to finally eat some lunch. Yay! All right, I'll be back. Let's get on 85. Yep. Hi guys, we are headed out for the evening to go celebrate the 50th birthday of a friend. And we want to wish you a good week and a good weekend. It's been a fun one. I'll put any relevant links in the description below. If I've forgotten something, somebody say something. And um, I hope you've all enjoyed the vlog and you continue to enjoy it let me know and uh have a good day have a good week do something nice for yourself because you deserve it and we will see you later bye guys mm -hmm.